welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is JB23 vlog and for today's video guys I would like to show to you how to adjust and check the valve head clearance or the puppet clearance of our generator engine so first of all guys uh, this maintenance is to be carried out in every 1500 running hours so our engine is Yanmar engine and that is stated from the instruction manual that it has to check or readjust the tappet clearance in every 1500 hours so basically guys uh, taking of this uh, tappet clearance adjustment engine should be in cold state so first of all we have to close the cooling water of our engine and just let it cool and then we can proceed to adjust the tappet clearance now the exhaust side is 0.6 millimeter and the intake side is 0.3 millimeter as you can see guys uh, the tappet clearance is now adjusted so all you have to do is to lose the the valve rocker arm nut so that you can insert the filler gauge so in this case guys when you are taking or adjusting tappet clearance you need also to retight all the involved bolts and nuts as you can see guys the flywheel has to turn and just put on the mark whichever cylinder is on the top dead center so in this case is three and four top dead center so you have to turn little more <coughs> the flywheel and check the push rod if it is free that means if the push rod is free then you can then we can adjust the topic clearance first we have to check how much it is loose how much it's loose so we can control how much we like to tight see guys this is the nut the lock nut of the adjusting screw of the top the rocker arm just lock the locking bolt guys as much as it is not just so very easy but you can feel it that this is touching that you can remove that you can remove guys not so easy but it is touching touching to each other so this is other way of uh, adjustment so once it is as you can see this yes, you can feel it you see just use both hands then you can feel it that this is touching so that's the clear that you can remove the filler gauge without obstructions so retight the locking nut and you have to insert the screwdriver so it will not turn and always recheck this once it you <coughs> once you are tightening that you have to always recheck and all involved nuts has to be checked also or tighten just to be sure as you can see guys so this is intake side we are adjusting from the intake side of this kind of engine 0.3 millimeter and the exhaust side is 0.6 millimeter so just like that guys and the valve view also the valve view and the rotator you have to check and after completion of this job guys we have to check also the the effectivity of the lubrication you have to confirm if our old rocker arm is properly lubricated 
as you can see guys the filler gaze is already inserted and the locking nut should be correctly and properly tightened now let's proceed to the exhaust side so same procedure guys you have to loosen the locking nut and and you can insert the filler gauge and always check guys don't be confused or don't interchange otherwise it will create problems so just focus on the, on the side for the exhaust side or the intake side so just like that just simple as that guys you see as you can see you can feel it in your hand that you can easy moving you can easily remove the filler gauge and it is touching from both sides from the bulb bridge and the rocker arm side just like that so after completion of this job guys then you can restart the generator and we have to check that if there is any changes with the exhaust gas temperature so as you can see guys it's already retightened and retight yes the locking bolt should not move and the adjustment of the clearance is not changed so it will not change so until here guys i hope you learned something about this video guys this is jb33 vlog stay safe everyone bye bye